Good afternoon students. Welcome in video lecture of employability and skill development. We are already discussing unit number 5 skills for interviews. Today we are going to see the topic non-verbal communication. Okay, we will see this non-verbal communication in detail. The non-verbal communication refers to the body signals that we use in our communication every day. It is also known as communication without speech or writing or communication in a silence. A non-verbal message has a unique quality that it is not said or written but still it communicates the desired sense meaningfully. Okay, are you getting what I am saying here? Right, now that means here whatever the non-verbal communication we are considering one, we are by using our body movement, we are say, sharing our things or thoughts, right, by using the body language, you can say that we are sharing that particular thoughts and we are not saying anything about it or we are not writing anything about this particular thing but we are still communicating with a meaningful manner using our body languages using our different different body languages communication experts believe that non-verbal signals make up a huge part of our daily communication right that means by using our eyes our lips and uh, our hands to legs okay whatever we are having that particular natural movement of our body by using that movement we are sharing our thoughts we are communicating or you can say that uh, we are conveying our things to in that words in that words right not by considering this uh, written, not considering speaking, not considering the speech, right? That means the lip movement, eye movement, right? Leg and uh, hand movement, or whatever the body parts are there, they are used to communicate. And these are nothing but you are non verbal, you are doing the task and you are conveying that particular thing in, a, uh, in that particular language or sharing that particular message in that language right so this particular uh, thing which are considered here uh, uh, in that particular slide i show that particular one person and he is using different different uh, you can see the movement to share the that particular message right so this is the one and in another thing how the uh, this particular exactly body movement it is do, done one that means for time asking for uh, uh, you can see the thing is sharing that don't do this particular thing like that if you are like it one okay okay like that so if you are get you want more then you are sharing that particular body language in that okay and if you are completed that task then you are saying that all done like that so these are the some of the body movement which are displayed I just I displayed in this particular slide and here uh, the um, whatever the researcher they are uh, studying on this particular thing they are, she, she, uh, they are concluded that the non-verbal uh, whatever the communication way is there it is um, you can say that having the 50 to 70 percent communication it is doing that particular thing in between 50 to 70 percent uh, communication with this particular body or in, in that particular non verbal communication manner. So, some of the uh, you can say that uh, that particular things which are considered under the body, uh, what are the uh, by considering the body movement, right, uh, or that particular uh, whatever the things related to, to do, do the communication that it is shared here. Okay, so uh, we will discuss one by one as the first one is the uh, body movement. It is the again uh, 
uh, facial expressions in the sense uh, it is the movement of our eye it is the movement of our lips okay which gives us some sort of the uh, how you are giving the message to other right that particular thing it is shared through this particular movement right that is the you are you are doing the verbally you can say that whatever the person he is being verbally it is done in this particular thing right by using the body movement that means might be your eye contact might be your lip movement might be your hand or leg movement you are sharing that particular your body it is uh, stands included various um, uh, postures and uh, can speak a lot about that particular person okay that is the thing it is done under the body movement next is the physical appearance see uh, in that particular physical appearance a beautiful face is a silent recommendation it is said that beautiful face is a silent recommendation that means how you are looking and your body it is saying that how you can express that particular thing that's why you have to be prepared yourself and for that it is said that your physically your appearance should be good one that means a smart well dressed person is about to look more attractive creditable and intelligent than a dull uh, shabbily dressed man right that means you are how you are dressed one what you are included for the grooming what you are weird accessories right which strongly communicate the various shades of your personality and professionalism of your uh, uh, for that particular communication in a non verbal thing right which shows you are exactly the the you can say that non verbal communication during that uh, the thing right this is the important part then verbal sound right the type of voice and its attributes such as tone speed uh, value uh, and assent uh, can greatly affect the delivery of that particular verbal situation that means in which manner your personality it is giving that particular authority to give the situational concept right for that particular message it is very important for that person right that means how he is using this such a things in a speed manner he is giving that particular motion of movement of that particular motion of body tone some sort of the some different tone he is using which is considered for the verbal sound right verbal sound in a non verbal communication for that sending the message this is important part right so verbal sound under that these things are very important one now closeness or physical distance physical distance from person determines the relationship and the space that we share with that person whatever the message we are sharing if that we are maintaining the proper distance in between that persons then that the listener or observer he can understand what we are uh, we are sharing that particular message right otherwise if that physical distance is not that means not that much one in between that particular uh, both person then relationship cannot be done properly and your message cannot be sent properly so it is important one right so highlight on that particular things take care about this particular thing uh, many non verbal message are delivered through distance to indicate bo uh, bonding uh, and uh, you can say that animously uh, admiration or dim, uh, dominance these things are considered for that particular distance uh, sending message right so this is the you can say that important thing and then last uh, thing it is considered under this non verbal communication is the time see time is also very important thing because in non verbal 
if you are considering that thing, then time is an interesting nonverbal tip or hint or sign to judge a, a person's attitude. To judge that particular person's attitude, his position and what he is committing one. That means whatever he is committing one, that it is we can see that check on a properly manner. It is understand one properly manner. Right. So these are the some sort of the things are considered, or you can see that tips are considered in a non-verbal communication uh, thing so that the the person or the body language, the attitude which is shown by that particular person, which is used for the sending the message, movement of that particular body, attitude in the sense to send that particular message while moving his body. It is uh, a very important point and for that we have to consider these particular things while doing that particular language right so uh, if boys if you are students if you are having any doubts related to this particular non-verbal communication you can ask me anytime and by considering this uh, non-verbal communication point our topic uh, sorry our unit uh, skills for interview, fifth unit, it is uh, you can say that finished one. And if you are having entirely any doubt uh, from this syllab uh, syllabus of a fifth unit, if you are having any doubt from this particular uh, fifth unit syllabus or that topic, any point of view, if you are having uh, any queries, you can ask me anytime. Thank you and uh, study well.